inferior epigastric artery is a branch of uh, the external iliac artery not the internal iliac artery is what you need to remember why so much significance is given to the internal iliac artery doctor i mean uh, the inferior epigastric artery ultimately when you tomorrow operate on hernias abdominal wall surgeries inferior epigastric artery is a very important landmark that's the reason you need to know what is the origin <clears throat> regarding the blood supply of liver what's a true statement it is not the inferior mesenteric vein rather it is the superior mesenteric vein whose communion with uh, the splenic vein will be forming the portal vein is what you need to be very very clear about knee joint where will the rotation ultimately will occur doctor in our knee joint it is the menisci and the tibia which are mainly responsible for uh, the rotatory movement which occur at the level of the knee joint it is not the femur i think an easy question now you are extending your uh, leg when the foot is touching the ground then uh, what happens towards the end of the extension to the femur femur undergoes a medial rotation locking unlocking mechanism you all know very well on which lot of questions come popliteus how does it function origin insertion of popliteus menisci and cruciate ligaments everything on the anatomy you need to be quite sure doctor trunk muscles are controlled by what mechanism and uh, appendicular muscles are controlled by what mechanism it is the ventral cortico spinal tract which is the one which is responsible for ultimately controlling our uh, uh, trunk muscles that's the reason we get trunkal ataxias whenever there is any cerebellar dysfunction we get trunkal ataxias titubation etc etc now hypokalemia what is the effect of it doctor give me one answer uh, raju please give the mic mic uh, nafiz is there and uh, ram krishna you give the mic let them voice their uh, arm aadmi answers uh, against the key yeah so uh, raju give the mics uh, what is your answer doctor basically whenever there is any hypokalemia there is a more negative resting membrane potential there's a reason what happens to the excitability cells become less excitable why if resting membrane potential become more negative cells become less excitable after all what is excitability and the onset of action potential from the negative valley of the resting membrane potential towards the positive hill top of the action potential the potential should rise the more negative the resting membrane potential less excitable will be the tissue is what you have to basically remember yes option d a decrease in the firing levels of the neurons even that looks reasonable right um, i think we have a dual answer in this question huh? all right agreeable even this question require a repair about smooth muscle smooth muscle don't have i mean neither have troponin nor tropomyosin so option should be all of the above option d then the answer c become reasonable eh? one small correction these are called post translational defects in the question paper after the paper get printed while preparing for the discussion we will identify right but yeah till now two errors REM sleep versus NREM sleep. Any exam you go, questions are asked. What is your answer, doctor? Slow, slow waves. Why? Because what kind of waves do you get in the case of the REM sleep, doctor? Huh? Beta. That's very important. So you have stage one, two, three, four, five. NREM has got four stages, and during the REM sleep, 
there are various physiological phenomena body temperature and the brain activity will increase to almost the same level whenever we are awake or even higher but why rapid eye movement phase is called rapid eye what is causing the rapid eye activity of the rapid eye movement basically we have pontogenic kilo occipital spikes which are produced during the rem sleep what is the importance of geniculate body geniculate body is important for our vision so pontogenic kilo occipital cortical activity will typically lead to the development of all those rem rapid eye movements which are seen in the case of the rem activity so a high frequency low amplitude eeg trace is what you typically come across now doctor one question on secondary messenger i think by now you got the philosophy of our md entrance ultimate exam rem and rem sleep zarur padna padta one of the secondary messengers without that there is no paper right if you are still doing wrong in this still you have time you have to correct it so doctor what is your answer tyrosine kinase nafis bolo bete aapka answer kya hai ha d that's good insulin epidermal growth factor insulin like growth factor and platelet derived growth factor they all basically use the tyrosine kinase ha this is a beautiful question doctor you answered this you are through physiology let me tell you you didn't answer this what is the important thing that you need to carry home always hypotonic very good always hypotonic definitely a question comes on nephron physiology you hate vasorecte you hate counter current mechanisms any number of times you read you don't understand still you have to read catch up a friend who understood the nephron physiology in the reading room offer him a free samosa and chai and try to get a hold on the topic physiology may nephron physiology may how much percentage get reabsorbed what are the functions what happens in each of the segments of the nephron zarur ek question aayega entrance mein agar usko wrong kare to that is a suicidal note why always hypotonic basically in the distal convoluted tubule whatever the fluid that is entering it is always hypoosmotic because there is a uh, active sodium reabsorption and it is a water impermeable segment distal convoluted tubule so water remains sodium got reabsorbed so osmolality of the fluid inside the tube will be distal convoluted tubule will be hypotonic you may ask a question if anti diuretic hormone is present what is the situation of the fluid even if adh is present also water is impermeable in the distal convoluted tubule normally adh kya karega aquaporin channels ko khol ke pura pani ko reabsorb kar lega even in the presence of the adh also distal convoluted tubule is impermeable to water that is the reason it is uh, always hypotonic is a classical statement which you should not forget doctor then what are the other important things about distal convoluted tubule it will enhance sodium reabsorption in response to aldosterone now one gaik's disease glycogen storage disorders to favorite uh, uh, breakfast for the examiner so now tell me doctor what is your answer give me your wrong answers so that we can discuss raise a discussion on that ram krishna what is the honest virgin answer My without answer. seeing uh, explanatory booklet huh? what was your answer aapka gyan nahi wrong answer is a your wrong answer is a please give one big clap to ram krishna for the honesty come on come on loud clap loud clap huh? that's good uh, honest answer is a 
see doctor glycogen is storage form of glucose glycogen can be broken down to glucose what decides this dynamics two main enzymes glycogen phosphorylase and glycogen synthase one there is an example of glycogen storage disorder something that stimulates the glycogen synthase should be responsible it is the glucose 6 phosphate which stimulates the glycogen synthase is it difficult to remember no aapne kachcha shaadi ka chicken tandoori kha liya doctor aur uh, what is that kurban ka meeta or uh, what is that uh, uh, kurban na kurbaniya kurbani ka meeta ah uh, the other day we had uh, um uh, one of uh, the mls uh, um home me wedding function was there so when i was there in the function so dr saab aap i know you are a vegetarian but uh, a kurbani ka meeta nahi khaye to uh, your life is waste he said so 20 times i check vegetarian non vegetarian vegetarian non vegetarian he said are kya hai doctor ocd uh, in uh, good diagnosis <laughs> good diagnosis of ocd <laughs> so he ultimately said uh, bengal may fish is also a vegetarian if you go to china they serve you chicken and say that are you asked vegetarian only no so kurbani ka meat agar khaye to kya hota glucose badega glucose if it is increased to immediately it is converted into glucose 6 phosphate the moment it got converted into glucose 6 phosphate what will uh, a stimulus will come to store it in the form of glycogen so that's the point um now doctor 9 year old from patna exercise intolerance lack of lactate what is that mutation doctor what is your answer nafis ha huh? d muscle glucose 6 phosphatase was your uh, wrong answer but no problem we will debate about it lack of lactate production is the main issue in this story muscle pfk1 deficiency is basically called as tarwis disease which is another glycogen storage disease where pfk1 is uh, absent if pfk1 is not there glycolysis doesn't occur you agree with me where will pfk1 come into picture fructose 6 phosphate to fructose 26 or 16 biphosphate so that anaerobic activities are significantly affected in these individuals why anaerobic activities because glycolysis mainly required if oxygen is not there also if you want energy glycolysis will help you but for aerobic activity where oxygen is there mitochondria are there you can break down fatty acids and derive acetyl coa derived energy and can do aerobic activities so running in athletics is an example of a anaerobic muscular activity so that is a main issue in this people with pfk1 deficiency i leave to you the literature why not the other enzymes just uh, take a chance to review now doctor if the fatty acid oxidation is there it increases the gluconeogenesis ye dono ke beech mein kya sambandh hai ram krishna what is your wrong answer b d was your wrong b. answer ha huh? b b for boy ha huh? activation of pyruvate carboxylase is the correct answer so what is the relation between the two pyruvate carboxylase converts pyruvate into oxaloacetate you know this step no oxaloacetate in turn has got a chance to convert into citrate or phosphoenol pyruvate and participate in gluconeogenesis or can undergo transamination into aspartate now doctor uh 
fatty acid oxidation what is the effect of it with the oxidation of fatty acid it will cause the increase of acetyl coa acetyl coa is one of the strongest activator of pyruvate carboxylase how will you remember this basically pyruvate carboxylase what is it doing pyruvate carboxylase it is converting pyruvate into oxaloacetate oxaloacetate in turn is participating for uh, uh, the formation of citrate where the acetyl coa is involved so that is the reason acetyl coa will tell pyruvate carboxylase what it will tell to pyruvate carboxylase deco pyruvate carboxylase i need to get transformed into citrate for that i require some amount of oxaloacetate please provide me then pyruvate carboxylase converts pyruvate into oxaloacetate got it doctor so that's the reason fatty acid oxidation increase will cause pyruvate carboxylase also activity to increase is what need to be remembered ye to tamasha question hai basically you are metabolizing acetoacetate how many adps are produced nafees aapka wrong answer kya hai beta 20 right ah i am khush hua mogambo ha eh? so uh, ramkrishna aapne kya socha 17 lucky B, number b b boy 18 where did you consume those two adps how you thought two got consumed acha you hope your original calculation is not uh, uh, 9 atps for uh, each acetyl coa no if it is 9 atps for each acetyl coa it will be 18 how many atps are produced for each acetyl coa consumption 10 acetyl state mein kitne hain acetyl coa do hai to isliye 20 hona magar shaadi ke pehle tera dahej to dena pad raha hai kahan dena pad raha hai Acetyl acetate should become acetyl acetyl coa that need to convert into acetyl coa. For this conversion, succinyl coa become convert to succinate for the acetyl acetate to become acetyl acetyl coa. So during this uh, conversion process, one ATP get consumed. In fact, one GTP get consumed for the conversion of succinyl coa to succinate. for that that gdp must be subtracted from the 20 that becomes 19 if this question comes only you will answer right right but uh, before you answer check whether this is the same question examiner is asking that is also important eh? so now glutathione reductase aur gout ke beech mein kya rishta hai a excellent basically glutathione reductase is important for what doctor it will utilize the nadph and it will reduce the glutathione into reduced glutathione and generates nadp plus the moment nadp plus levels increase that acts like a strong stimulus for what for the conversion of G6P glucose 6 phosphate to enter into pentose phosphate pathway. Glucose 6 phosphate is there, doctor. It is waiting to enter into pentose phosphate pathway. For everything we require inspiration, no? To go to reading room we require inspiration. To study we require inspiration. What is the inspiration? Take a mock test. We say that you know you don't know anything. Your preparation is bad. Is what we will try to picture is. Do capping program character assassination program entire md 3 years you have to do that only so that stimulus comes from where the moment glutathione reductase increases its activity when the nadph levels fall and nad plus levels increase there is a demand for nadp plus production and that stimulates the glucose 6 phosphate to enter into the ppp and the end product of the ppp is what the ribulose 5 phosphate and its metabolism in turn will lead to uric acid production so that's what you need to remember killed maxin microbiology to chumma questions d what is your answer d 
Killed vaccine protection will last for a short period unlike live vaccine. One DNA or which is RNA or DNA virus you have to remember. Some of our classmates will be authorities in this subject. You need to depend on them. How they are remembering, how our poor mind is not able to remember. Because our poor mind is making analysis which their poor mind cannot. Some exchange should occur in the reading room. Huh? That is the purpose of going there. Herpes virus. Yeah. It is the Lipotsk. Badminton rocket. Today only Padma Bhushan or Vibhushan? But badminton. Huh? So, uh, GRDL amblia. Man is not a definitive host where sex suckers for the organism in case of the malarial organism. Ah, this is a beautiful question, parasitology doctor. C, sir. Disgusting C. question. C. X. Organisms X. Very, very precious for MD entrance. One egg you drop also. Instead of taking surgery, you have to end up in taking forensic medicine. And uh, rationalize yourself that, uh, okay, that is living body cutting, this is dead body cutting. Anything is cutting only, no? Huh? So, you have to be very sure. So, hold the parasitology X carefully. Which are bile soluble, bile not soluble. Each characteristics of the X. Today evening is pura andeki padai. Be very sure. Half an hour you spend on uh, X, you are the best poultry guy. Eh? So, spiralis, trichinella spiralis has no time for X. It only directly sits in the muzzle. Sir? Ha. Huh. Spiralis ovo with Paris, sir. X also there. Uh, spiralis? Ovo with Paris, sir. That's right. It, it does not liberate X. It, it does not liberate X. Rather, it will undergo cystation in the muscle, in the tissues of the host. Huh? Now, okay, doctor. 200 mg dose is given. 100 mg is eliminated in two hours. 25 mg. Ah, what is your answer after six hours? 25 mg. Actually, original term kya hai ki half life of elimination. Half elimination har ek bar nahi likh sakte na notes mein. Half life bolte hain. So, what is the half life in this case? Two hours. Two hours. How many half lives are there in six hours? Three. So, three times it became half means ultimately what is left is 25 mg. Huh? This question we asked earlier. Oh, I am sorry. Last week. Eh? Okay. But that time also I said the same, no? <laughs> That's important. 500 mg has a therapeutic efficacy of 6 hours. That is different from half life, be very sure. Efficacy means, unka effects kitta der rahega. That is something to do with efficacy. Right, doctor? But uh, its uh, serum concentrations will fall down to half their levels in how much time is then called? Half life. Half life is different from duration of efficacy. Uh, Abhi Bolo, what is your answer? So, for this 1 gram to become 500 mg, how much time it will take? As much as its half life. So, that means 8 hours it will take. After that, it has 6 hours of efficacy. 8 plus 6 become 14. Right? Good. Now, doctor. Carbidilol versus propranolol. D. I think now you know what is the list I am talking about. Beta blocker list. Today evening only you should review doctor. Do not uh, uh, postpone it. Beta blockers with intrinsic sympathomimetic activity. Beta blockers which have beta 1 specific, beta 2 specific, alpha 1 specific, alpha 2 specific. What? You ask any of your classmate who is seriously preparing for entrance, no? You just to tickle him like a hyper reflex uh, pseudo bulbar palsy patient with a uh, uncontrollable laughter and uncontrollable crying, he will come out with all the facts. If you are a serious student, 
you want to get seed beta blockers today night only you should review doctor it has an alpha 1 receptor blocking effect is what you need to remember carbidiol is not a beta 1 selective blocking agent what are the examples of beta 1 selective acting <laughs> ethanolol metoprolol and uh, it lacks intrinsic sympathomimetic activity which have intrinsic sympathomimetic activity pindolol and acetabutalol is what you have to emphatically remember doctor <clears throat> One question on hyperlipidemic drugs. Jarur Hoga exam. Me. What is nicotinic acid? Both cholesterol and also triglycerides. Triglycerides are different from uh, cholesterol. I hope you know the difference. Sorry to be. He already our friend diagnosed no obsessive compulsive teacher. <laughs> we want you to know everything that to thoroughly. And should not do mistakes. After attending 30 full scale grand tests also you are doing, uh, you are unable to make it up. In the entrance means it is insult on me. So that's the reason doctor. My job is to remind you. It inhibits the VLDL production. If you take uh, chylomicrons, what is their significance doctor? Exogenous triglycerides which is there in the Kurbanika Mita. And mutton 65, uh, mutton mein hota kya 65, chicken mein hota, okay. Uh, to, uh, will all be carried by chylomicrons. Endogenous triglycerides will be there, no? That is primarily carried by VLDL. Cholesterol is carried by LDL. That is what you need to know. Right, doctor. Attention deficit hyperactivity disorder mein hum emo Atomoxetin ka istemal karte. Atomoxetin kaisa kaam karega. Mechanism of action. How many of you heard first time what is atomoxetin? Other than me. Huh? So, doctor, atomoxetin mechanism of action you need to know. Basically, it blocks the reuptake of norepinephrine into the Naru terminals. By doing that, it will increase or decrease the levels of the norepinephrine. Huh? Increase. Agar hum first year MBBS mein join ho ke, NIDP class mein we are biting nail, we are watching outside, we want to jump away. Whom we need to blame? Norepinephrine levels in our brain are very low. Attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. The same mechanism of action is also there for emitriptyline, tricyclic antidepressants also and cocaine also is fortunate to remember. Long QT syndrome patient hai unko shingles ho gaya. What are the two classes of drugs you can use to treat the pain of the shingles doctor? Out of the four drugs given? Tricyclics and also? And also? Gabapentin. Why not tricyclics due to? Long QT syndrome you don't want to. That's as simple as that. So we use the Gabapentin. Why not? Why not? Uh, what was the point, doctor? Fentanyl. You keep inhaling with a hookah. Patches are available. Eh? Oh, I don't know this. Uh, but more effective is gabapentin. Huh? We'll check on fentanyl. Fentanyl patches. Okay. Acute glomerulonephritis. What is the hallmark? In the pathophysiology. Yeah. Give me one confident answer doctor. What was the wrong answer? C. C. Uniformly progresses to. Arre. Agar harek case of acute government nephritis, chronic renal failure bangeto. Uniformly progresses. Ka matlab kya hai uniform pahen ke. Are those who are wearing uniform. Huh? We studied in Telugu medium. So, when we entered Gandhi Medical College in first year, uh, there used to be a professor, very, very, very high sounding English. We never used to understand what she is saying. She used to give a long sentence. The sodium channels interact with the potassium channels and the former will do like this and the later will do like that and the former interacts with the later. 
अरे बा शी यूज टू टर्न एंड से यूजलेस फेलोस यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड गेट अप एटलीस्ट नवेड प्रोफेसर आर नॉट लाइक दैट इन 1991 व्हेन आई जॉइन मेडिकल कॉलेज फर्स्ट ईयर प्रोफेसर यूज टू बी यूज टू टेक दैट लिबर्टी लाइक द मॉम शाउट्स ऑन अ चाइल्ड नवेड इफ ए similar professor is there uh, you will go to you will uh, go to the uh, television to uh, broadcast that uh, temper tantrums so doctor pulmonary congestion to volume expansion fluid overload ha huh? pulmonary congestion due to volume expansion is a common finding any kind of gum and afraid is you see periorbital edema and all is more of a nephrotic syndrome picture nephritis is what we are talking about ha <laughs> huh? right doctor <clears throat> chronic renal failure give me one answer c bronchitis is a classical feature hypophosphatemia growth retardation glycosuria type which is a proximal renal tubular acidosis one more big problem in uh, telugu medium background two hota hai proximal one hota hai distal eh? but at least you should know causes of the proximal is what doctor i mean uh, the for the distal jogrens and hypergamma globulinemia and you also have non anion gap metabolic acidosis in both type 1 and type 2 aati hai along with that hypokalemia type 2 may you have got fanconi syndrome like picture with bicarbonate exhaustion is a typical feature then what is type 4 rta never forget diabetes will be responsible diabetic nephropathy in that juxta glomerular cells will undergo degeneration there is no renin if there is no renin there is no aldosterone if there is no aldosterone there is no sodium retention hence there is a loss of sodium and retention of potassium the only form of rta where there is a retention of potassium is hyperkalemia is type 4 which is called hyporeninemic hypoaldosteronism is the name given for type 4 rta is what need to be remembered 47 year old with pruritis with anti mitochondrial antibody how oh, you'll smash me what is the answer d excellent doctor primary biliary cirrhosis ऐसा ही टिस किसके वजह से होता है अनदर ग्रिपिंग क्वेश्चन फ्रियली आस्क इन एग्जाम डी 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 पोटल हाइपरटेंशन प्लस हाइपर यू आंसर दैट यस लाइक दैट वाओ दैट्स रियली ग्रेट आई थॉट व्हाट इज योर रॉन्ग आंसर नफीस डी ओनली ओ वेरी गुड आई एम हैप्पी नाउ बोथ ओवर इन यूट्रस रिलैक्स इन इज ए हार्मोन प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय बोथ ऑफ देम नाउ लेट अस रन फास्ट Diadem test is not seen if tied due to vagal inhibition, dry drowning. Hanging may feet partial, partial hanging. Partial hanging. Putrefied and decomposed body. What is wrong? B. If the skin peeling is there, can you, can you be able to use it? You can. can you, you can use it uh, for fingerprinting. What about C? hair its color and dyeing when present can be used for ha huh? why not hair its color and dyeing commonly suppose if uh, a road traffic accident bus uh, charged away you are having a dead body lot of identification fighting will be there if somebody's uh, mom has got a white hair uh, somebody is claiming it and uh, that woman's hair of the dead body is uh, having a black hair suddenly white hair don't become black hair no don't tell that because of the fire effect <laughs> color and dyeing also is used huh? now smoke plus gunpowder c nitrocellulose ricochet ricochet bullet one bullet question d large irregular elongated is a classical description 
Sanwan contains what? D. Forgot to check in the bathroom in the home. Settable on and keep it in. Yeah. Some students in the exam hall will be doing. They will be extending their retina. <laughs> I am sorry. <laughs> they will be sitting in the exam hall. What was this? Savlon bottle was there in the hospital. <laughs> like we doing the Google map to identify a place. They will be thinking, why did I not see the Savlon bottle sticker on the day? I am losing the MDC today because of the Savlon bottle. Oh no, some will cry in the exam hall also. <laughs> so, on the lighter read. Be sportive, doctor. Let me tell you, you are missing a question. Sometimes in exam hall, you will be doing, you are missing it. You, you, are, you can miss up to 30 questions, no problem. Nothing happens. 170, uh, you get also, we, are, we don't mind. Huh? So, sensitivity is A. A by A plus C into 100. Then, BCG vaccine. Reconstituted vaccine within three hours, within four hours actually. Major drawback of SALC is, unlike OPV, uh, it does not induce local immunity. What about D? Reasonable point. Which is costly, which is cheaper? Uh, injectable, no, you have to, uh, no, no, uh, SALC is killed. Uh, Injectable, I think D should be changed. Agreed. Error number four. Residual chlorine, how much should be there? One milligram per liter for 30 minutes. Oh. Salmonella is often due to? Is often due to? Typhimurium. Chandler index, how much? Outdated question. 300. 300. Methylene blue? Microorganisms. What about D? What is there in D? Not nitrates. Methylene blue. Oh, O oh, nitrate poisoning and cyanide poisoning. Oh, oh, alag hai, doctor. Methylene blue, either bhi aata, udar bhi aata. SPM mein aata or pharmacology mein. Huh? Okay. B. Epidemic dropsy? B. Sanguvarin B. OP poisoning is B. With least toxicity is malathion. Frequently asking uh, MCK is called mode. High yield mode. One community health center for how many? One lakh. Eighty thousand lakh. Percutaneous PDCA. Where will you do, doctor? What are the indications for CABG versus PDCA? You have to be very clear. B, it is there in every book. Are you? It's there in every book. Not there in any book. Why is that? Kuchh bhi nahi hai, beta. Aap nahi dekha why is that book ko? Triple vessel disease. B. Background. Uh, triple vessel disease. Background of diabetes. Left main stem disease. There are some specific indications where you need to do cabbage. Huh? So, Oh, I mean, uh, there is a bigger list of uh, indications actually, around 7 to 8 indications, why will you do, when will you do CABG and when will you do PDCA, just review that. Eh? Now, on standing, if there is a darkening, all captain area. All captain area. But the earlier question, if asked in exam, doctor, 80% of serious students will answer correctly. PDCA, CABG indications, eh? you need to be careful. Barbiturate is not given to B. Porphyria is a contraindication. Digoxin, where will you not give? D. Hockum. HOCM. HOCM. There, propylol is given. Will you give nitrates? You will not give nitrates. Is what need to be remembered in HOCM. Then, nephrotoxicity is not there for? Cephoperazone. Subtriaxone, subaclar, doxycycline, they are not renally eliminated. They can be given safely in the patients who are having renal failure. Subaclar, subaperazone and subclor. Huh? 
then uh, betimazole versus propyl thiurazole what is the except what is the except there is nothing like metimazole gives a quicker relief compared to that of uh, or a greater remission c sir ha huh? c not an advantage metimazole has co as compared to i mean forget about uh, i mean acha you went too serious about adjective okay metimazole as compared to propyltolacil is true in all except advantage this is a wrong word agreeable but uh, i think d should be your precise answer in pregnancy with hyperthyroidism what is true yeah what is your answer wrong answer ramkrishna d d that's right we don't give beta blockers in pregnancy because they can lead to decrease utero placental flow that will predispose to iugr easily which has bimodal presentation how many answer papillary carcinoma can raise the hand ah kush ho gaya huh that is what i thought you will do wrong follicular carcinoma not even medullary you mean to say familial is there non familial is there they differ in their age group this is follicular to ekdam ek young age mein aata ek old age mein aata bish mein nahi aata when you are in medical school it will come or when you are retiring as hod of medicine it will come huh? now uh, bk classical question doctor on bk what is your answer B, eh? B. 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 Yeah. What is the alternative answer? D. 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 Classical answer, doctor. We generally think type one may he BK hoga. Hota. That's more characteristic, agreeable. Have we not managed a lot of patients coming with DK who had MI, who had a stroke? when they are brought they will be in a dk state you have to manage their mi and also dk but what is the challenge to manage both of them mi may fluid nahi de sakte dk mein dena hi fluid hai that's a challenge commonly type 2 diabetes patients who come with stroke we will only be worrying about uh, the stroke management the mi management but we should not ignore the dk in the backdrop okay doctor now uh, ha But the, but the classical point we did not come. A patient of DKA came to you. What is your treatment? 15 units insulin lagao, 50 units IV me lagao, 50 micrograms speed me chalao. Kal subah tak patient chai pina subah tak. If you are not a managed a patient of DKA by tomorrow morning to take tea when you are on night duty, you are a failed house surgeon. Let me tell you. DK patient dying due to DK means ha you are a sensation. There is no death in DK, no death in asthma. They are morbid states. If you don't manage them properly, yes, you are writing a death sentence. Easily manageable. You give electrolyte management, fluid management, patient of DK will recover. But when he is recovering, what happens? His pH in the blood will improve. when the ph in the blood improves what will happen beta hydroxy butyrate now what are the three ketone bodies that you know doctor estoester coa acetone and beta hydroxy butyrate beta hydroxy butyrate gets more and more converted into estoester in the urine dipstick we do know in the laboratory do we detect beta hydroxy butyrate or estoester we detect estoester when the ph is improving when more and more beta hydroxy butyrate converts into ester state urinary dipstick will be picking up that ester state and will be giving a report that it is 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus ketone bodies so patient is clinically improving laboratory is showing deterioration don't believe laboratory don't believe reports believe patient and your clinical acumen and eh? there is a role ha huh? No, acetone doesn't increase. Uh, it is the acetoacetate which will increase. 
more and more beta hydroxybutyrate is converted to H2 acetate and that will appear in the urinary uh, this thing what was given uh, in the options uh, also acetone also even acetone uh, level increases increases acetone state and acetone both of them increase beta hydroxybutyrate will come down it converts into acetone state and beta uh, and acetone uh, that's right now what is except about testicular dysfunction? Digitalis does not lead to any yes, hypogonadism. Yes. But that is not synonymous with testicular dysfunction. <coughs> Sperm count does not change, doctor. Eh? There is a different mechanism why it causes gynecomastia. Now, hypercholesterolemia below 100 is a feature commonly found in which OPD? Nephrology of OPD. Patients who are having chronic renal failure often report with hypocholesterolemia. Hypocholesterolemia. Huh? You like to say? No? Retroviral, uh, in fact, a good number of antiretroviral drugs predispose to hypercholesterolemic state. Huh? Then, which will not lead to metabolic acidosis, cheapest question. Pyloric stenosis lead to metabolic alkalosis. Hyperuricemia and gout, what is except? Sir, yeah. 61 CRF hyperlipidemia. 61 may, yeah, hyperlipidemia will be there. That is more of typical of triglyceridemia. Increased amount of triglycerides with a relative hypocholesterolemia is a feature of CRF. Hypo beta lipoproteinemia may the triglyceride, it is the triglyceride which is affected, not cholesterol. Option? LDL, VLDL increased, HDL decreased, sir. Okay, in view of uh, significant protests, uh, we will come back on this, huh? I think, uh, but uh, still, uh, okay, we will come back on that, but generally hypertriglyceridemia is much more a characteristic feature, most of the time CRF is a end product of the diabetic nephropathy, huh? uh, all right, metabolic acidosis, what is your answer, uh, uh, already done, uh, next. What is except about hyperuricemia and gout? V. Huh? Hypertension. Hmm. Hyperuricemia and gout. Penicillamine does not induce hyperuricemia. Sir, what about hypertension? Hypertension, hypertension and uh, hyperuricemia. Antihypertensives are known, no diuretics are very well known to lead to precipitation of hyperuricemia. Huh? Then uh, hepatic glycogen. What is a not a true statement, doctor? Huh? D D. Glucagon decreases, not increase the hepatic glycogen. Uh, this is a beautiful question. How will you grade hepatic encephalopathy? Three. Yes, doctor. C. <coughs> C. C you thought, eh? Why? Because uh, you have checked flapping tremors. Made you to think C? Maybe two or three. Maybe two or three. <laughs> Good. Flapping tremors put it in grade one. Isli on the ward rounds, eh? what will you tell the alcoholic liver disease patient sitting on the bed eh? in the morning rounds? Eh? Hard the flapping tremors hai kya? Routine. Uh, we used to have one professor Siddiqui uh, in general medicine. Morning rounds means whether he is alcoholic liver disease or no alcoholic liver disease. Flapping tremors in everybody. Ultimately, we discovered Siddiqui's grandpa died due to alcoholic liver disease. He had a childhood trauma. So, uh, he continues to check in every patient. Huh? So, flapping tremors is stage 1. 
Lethargy, moderate confusion is stage 2. Incoherent speech is stage 3. Deep coma is stage 4. What was their uh, disturbed sleep rhythm is only there. No slow mentation. Uh, flapping tremors is there. Disturbed sleep rhythm and uh, slurred speech and... Uh, Grade 3, sir. Uh, slow, uh, slurred speech, flapping. Uh, I think answer should be changed. 3, sir. Not 3, A. <laughs> but uh, what else was there in him to consider uh, lethargy and moderate confusion is there, no? Slow mentation and uh, slow mentation is not at a part of grade 1. That makes, brings it down to grade 2. Huh? Patient is quickly fluctuating, doctor. That is the nature of all alcoholic liver disease, guys. Liver biopsy. What will it typically show, doctor? Which is a non-specific feature. Mallory, Mallory uh, bodies. Mallory bodies. Hmm. Immune complex mediated extrahepatic manifestations doesn't include. Pantidiasis is not included. Type 1 or type 2 ke beech mein kya farak hai in the osteoporosis? State MD entrance paper will be similar to this. You know osteoporosis, you prepared on Z score, T score, oh, super duper and went to exam. <laughs> Finally, examiner will ask type 1, type 2, type 3, type 3A, 3B. Out of question. Oh, sab nahi hai, I am scaring you. Type 1 and 2 are only there. Ah, jaldi bolo. What is your answer? How many answer? Neck of femur. Ah, that a. is... Uh, My answer is... Uh, a. Very different. You thought A, eh? Yeah? Colleagues. Yes. Nice. Type 1 is seen in postmenopausal women, doctor. It's called as uh, vertebral thoracic fractures are commonest. Type 2 affects the neck of femur. Leave all that logic. Percentages hota hai book mein. Oh, footnote mein deta hai as a disclaimer. Oh, padna hum bol jate. 43 year old, pantheridis, given intravenous hydration. What is the poor prognostic feature? See, how many answered MLS? Ah, innocent uh, companion. MLS is not the part of the prognosis. BUN rise is a poor prognostic sign. D? You answered D? You answered C only, no? Ha, huh, no problem. Low fat diet. Right upper quadrant pain. 102 degrees. Gallstone is there. What is the diagnosis? What else will be the diagnosis? Cholecystitis. 68 year old, diffuse ST segment elevation. What is the complication? Pericarditis. So, what do you want to give? Dialysis. Uremic pericarditis. How many answered steroids? Very good. Not bad. Eh? That gives us encouragement in setting MCQs. 25 year old, PIP, MCP or sub hai? C. What is consistent? Not consistent with SLE. C. C. Scleroidactyl is a feature of? SS. Systemic sclerosis. sclerosis. 58 year old, type 2 diabetes, albumin creatinine ratio 100. A. What is your answer? A. A. C. A. C. N. B. T. Antimicrobial prophylaxis. Huh? Even normal. Earlier question, eh? Ah, what, what was your other option? C and uh, D. C and D. Uh, why will you refer to ophthalmologist? Nafis? Between diabetic retinopathy and nephropathy, which proceeds? Without nephropathy, you doubt retinopathy or without retinopathy, you doubt nephropathy? 
nephropathy should be doubted if there is no retinopathy kisi mein renal dysfunction hai doctor unke aankh mein agar retinopathy nahi hai to nephropathy diabetes ke wajah se nahi hai aur alag cause ke wajah se hai agreed so uh so the point is apparently all the four we will do in regular clinical practice next exam said straight puchenge <laughs> what is the best drug to prevent uh, progression of the nephropathy uh, being non potential is in a very early stage for which uh, ace inhibitor is uh, logically right huh? now antimicrobial prophylaxis where will you give doctor d previous infective endocarditis infliximab if you give what is the important uh, effect of that what type of tuberculosis reactivation tuberculosis reactivation generally occur in the upper lobe lung lobes apical segments <coughs> cardiac tamponade way what is most sensitive b. finding doctor b सेंसिटिव होता है सेंसिटिव हाँ बोलो डी सर डी बी बी फॉर बोई रॉन्ग आंसर इज डी इज यूर रॉन्ग आंसर पल्सस पेरेडॉक्सस इज अ वेरी वेरी सेंसिटिव इंडिकेटर टू नॉन स्पेसिफिक इन केस ऑफ दी कार्डियक टेम्परेट डिस्टल हार्ट सोन तक कोई भी कैजुअलिटी में खड़े हुए तो सुनाई देता बिकॉज द रश ऑफ कैजुअलिटी विल बी सो मच दैट इट कैन बी हर्ड आर ड्यू टू द वैक्स इन यूर इयर्स सेंसिटिव मीन्स वेरी अर्ली आई मीन टू से ओके डॉक्टर एम वे सीमा वॉट इज द लाइकली फाइंडिंग डॉक्टर सी ए यू वॉन्ट टू से दट राइट एनीबडी टॉक क्लबिंग innocent answer clubbing is never seen in copd you found in copd you should think of underlying bronchogenic carcinoma why copd smoking ke wajah se bronchogenic carcinoma smoking ki wajah se otherwise pure emphysema does never lead to clubbing is a very important rule similarly emphysema alone doesn't lead to hemoptysis unless there is an underlying bronchogenic carcinoma yeah bolo c Bilate by bacillar inspiratory crackles with increased JVP means, come on, doctor. Nafis is our future cardiologist. By bacillar inspiratory crackles with increased JVP is equal to on telephone. बोलना है आप मेरी पत्नी में बैठ के कोटी से पेशेंट कॉल करेगा. आपका ड्यूटी डॉक्टर कॉल करेगा. हाँ क्या बोलेगा? CHF बिटा फ्रूजमेंट दे दो. हाँ now. Kyphoscoliosis. What is your answer, doctor? Huh? That's right. Huh? Huh? What is the answer given? Kyphoscoliosis. Ah, uh, usually that is restricted disease. the decrease lung volumes and compliance and uh, sir normal are increased sir normal are increased but not decreased okay i think uh, here also we need to alter the course huh? agreeable no answer 56 year old with 60 pack Year smoking history. <coughs> Cough, which is productive. What is your answer? C. A. Uh? D. D. Uh, here you will agree. Uh, all right. Agreeable. C. O. P. D. Being obstructive. Earlier question, we need to alter the answer. Thirty huh? year old S. L. E. with prednisolone. Cholecystectomy. What is the most important intervention, doctor? B. Huh? That's right. 
a stress dose of corticosteroids need to be given. Yeah, what is the alternative? Mike, Mike. On, on, karo, Mike. Not working. Just check, karo, bitta. Ah, ah. So, what is your doubt, doctor? It will alter. Ah, that is all uh, secondary thought. First, the patient should survive. No, for the wound to heal. I mean, uh, we, we especially so whenever the patient is uh, on a uh, long term uh, steroid therapy, adrenal will not be ready to compensate the stress. You need to use stress dose. That time we should forget about all the possible logic of wound healing or infections or abscess or anything. Meaning of 15th percentile kya hota hai? Huh? 99 percentile entrance mein kya? See, see. Kya matlab hai? 99 percent hum se jada gade hai aur humare upar koi bhi gada nahi hai. <laughs> That's the meaning of uh, uh, 99 percentile. Eh? So, it all your success depends on others' failure also. Remember, not always because of your extreme performance, but do not uh, only depend on that. Uh, then comes the next question diarrhea, peripheral circulatory shock. What is the next important action? Obvious action is to give. Fluid challenge with the ringer lactate. Sir, yes, sir. Sir, yes, huh? sir. Bicarbonate. Now, circulatory shock ke baje se jo bhi estosis hota hai that get correctable. The moment you have replenished the fluid, for that you don't give bicarbonate and uh, kill the patient. Huh? <laughs> pH is uh, seven. Ah. Uh, that doesn't uh, prevent you from giving uh, ringer lactate, right? That doesn't prevent you from giving ringer lactate. Two year old, 6.7 kg. Is he malnourished or well nourished? Malnourished. In a malnourished, can you depend on the skin pinch? No. D. Uh, uh, D. Skin pinch cannot be evaluated. Have you checked why the mic is working? What? Change the battery? Yeah, get the battery and uh, give it. Uh. Blood specimen A. of neonatal thyroid screening from where will you take? Cord blood. Cord blood will run fast. Seven year old girl, what is your story? It is an extra hepatic obstruction due to end portal hypertension, most common cause. Wait, wait. Once more, uh, extra hepatic, intrahepatic biliary uh, pathologies. The differentiation you need to be sure. See. Thalassemia mein kya badega? See. HbA2 will increase. Recent onset URTI with breathlessness. Morphine. You don't give morphine and kill the patient silently. Everything else you like to. PDA. Differential sinosis, when will you do? PDA. When will you see? PDA. PDA. Ah, of course, with Eisenminger. Ah? Huh? I thought you are experts already assuming there is an Asian winger. Asian winger mein kya hota? Left to right be ban jata, right to left. PDA mein kya hota? Oh, jo bhi right to left hai, that mixed up blood will go down to the lower limbs. So, sinuses only in the lower limbs, upper limbs are spared from the sinotic uh, this thing. You are right, differential sinuses with Asian winger syndrome is seen with, uh, should be the correct time. Otherwise, PDA, VSD are SI notic. Anyway, implied no doctor. Hmm? Yeah. Eight year old boy, petechial azotemic colliguria. D. Huh? D. C, you want to say? D, sir. D, D. D. Ah, HUS. Beautiful. Is there any way you can uh, get a mic with? Uh, you have sent that guy? Okay. What is the common finding of osteomalacia? See. Malaysia is not porosis, you know that porosis may what will be the finding? Everything normal in porosis because problem is in the matrix. Malaysia is a problem of mineralization, Minerals. like rickets. Mineral. So, what will you find, doctor? Sir, C, sir. Huh? C, C. 
लो कैरेज लो सीरम कैल्शियम वॉज ऑल्सो सीरम कैल्शियम कैन बी नॉर्मल और कैन बी लो secondary hyperparathyroidism can normalize calcium agreeable but low serum phosphate is the rule then skin depends on what mechanical properties 